Allegations of corruption, investigations into the murders of journalists and marginalizing the opposition. Europe has seen a number of apparent attacks on the rule of law in recent years. Holding authorities to account is a central principle of the EU. Just last week, MEPs condemned the Czech Prime Minister over alleged mishandling of EU funds. Some MEPs have had enough. During the talks about the next EU budget, it has to be a key issue that only those member states who are ready to provide rule of law guarantees should get EU funding, for example, by joining the EU Public Prosecutor's Office. While MEPs sound the alarm, the Commission is paying close attention to protecting its values. The process of rule of law backsliding uh, in countries like Hungary and Poland uh, poses a huge threat to the European Union as a legal order. Uh, if uh, courts are not independent in the member states, the enforcement uh, of EU laws, including internal market uh, regulations, can no longer be taken uh, for granted. So it's unsurprising that the European Union is prioritizing uh, this issue. The EU is introducing new tools. They are the annual rule of law report linking EU funding to respecting rule of law and the establishment of the EU public prosecutor's office. These three together will make a difference, according to the EU's justice commissioner. We want to suspend or to stop some funding if there is a generalized breach to the rule of law in one member state. If we don't have a real trust in the functioning of one member state, it must be possible to suspend or to uh, stop the funding. And on the other hand, we'll install at the end of the year the European Prose Public Prosecutor Office. This will be the first time with the new chief prosecutor, Mrs. Covesi, the first time that we will have prosecution investigations and then prosecutions at the EU level to protect the EU budget. However, Hungary, Poland and Sweden are yet to join the prosecutor's office and Warsaw and Budapest can veto linking EU funds to respect of rule of law. But the commissioner thinks public backing is key. If you ask the solidarity of the taxpayers in many member states, of course they are ready to be solidar if it's with some member states sharing the same values, applying the same principles, the same rules and having a full respect for the rule of law. And so I've seen in the last weeks and months an increasing in the support for such a conditionality. In the Parliament, it's very clear, the European Parliament, we have a real support uh, for the conditionality on the rule of law, but also among the member states. The Commissioner also wants a wider public debate about democracy to ensure everyone is on board.